Hi everyone, so as we move on to multiplying polynomials, uh, we have to recall the, the basic properties of exponents that when you multiply, let's say, the same base, so for example, if I multiply b squared times b cubed, uh, this is going to be the same as b to the fifth power because what I do is that if I have the same base uh, and I'm multiplying that, then I'm simply going to add uh, I'm going to add those two exponents there. So uh, we're going to use a lot of this property uh, in multiplying polynomials. You're going to see why in a second. So as, as we move on to the examples, let's see here. We have 4h times negative 9h. Now here, the power of h is simply 1. If it's not written, it's 1. So 4 times negative 9 is negative 36 and then h times h is simply h squared. Uh, let's move on to the next one. The next one uh, is easier than, than it looks. It's simply distributive, distributive property. Negative 4 times 2s squared and uh, uh, negative 4 times negative 7. Remember that th that minus there is uh, a negative. So we have negative, uh, negative 4 times 2s squared. We're going to have negative 8 s squared. Uh, let me write that number 2 again. And then we have negative 4 times negative 7 which is simply plus 28. Let's move on. Find the product. Simplify your answer. So uh, right now look at uh, this. We have 2 times 6. It's, it's simply 12. And then we add the exponents when we multiply the same base so it's simply gonna be 6. Be careful here because, because we're constantly going to get uh, confused. Sometimes people end up adding the coefficients or multiplying the, the exponents when doing these. So uh, practice it a lot so that doesn't happen because that's a really common mistake. Uh, the next one, that's when, when I feel that I'm actually multiplying polynomials. So find the product, simplify your answer. Uh, this is going to be... Uh, uh, this is called FOIL, first, uh, inside, well, first, outside, inside, and last, and this is what I mean. Uh, I multiply the first term of this parentheses with the first term of the second parentheses. First, uh, then I multiply that first with that out, uh, like the outer two, uh, then I multiply uh, the two numbers in the inside and then uh, last with last so that's simply uh, known as FOIL. Honestly that's a useless name what you need to focus on if you if, if that name uh, confuses you at first it's simply multiplying making sure that if you start multiplying this one you apply distributive properties so this would be this term multiplied by both of the other two terms and then you apply distributive property again times the other two. So uh, this is going to be the same as well 3c times 2c. So that's going to be 6c squared. And then we have 3c again and we're going to multiply that times 3 over here. Now let me erase all these lines so it's not confusing. 3c, I multiplied it with uh, 2c already. Now I'm going to multiply 3c times 3. So this is going to be plus 6c. Oh, I'm sorry. I added. Notice how that common is. Uh, it's plus 9c. Uh, and then you have, well, let me erase this, uh, minus 3 times 2c. So that's minus 6c. And then uh, minus 3 times uh, the other 3. So uh, that's going to be uh, minus 9. And then you combine like terms. So right now, 9c and, and minus 6c, those are like terms. So I move down whatever, whatever else is not, does not have like terms. So 6c squared plus 3z, because those subtract to 3z, and then minus 9. And that's the answer for, for that product. Uh, and the last exercise, t minus 3 squared, well, 
Think about it. When you have a number squared, for example, if I have 3 squared, that's simply 3 multiplied by itself. So the same is going to the same is going to apply here. If I have t minus 3 squared, that's going to mean that I'm going to multiply t minus 3 times t minus 3. The thing here is that uh, we're going to uh, apply the same distributive property that we just applied. So t times t, that's going to be um, t squared. Then you have t times 3, which is simply uh, minus 3t. Notice that if it has a minus, it's negative. And then you have minus 3 times uh, t, so that's going to be minus 3t. And then uh, you have negative 3 times negative 3, so that's going to be simply plus 9. Uh, right now we have like terms, so we combine those. We're going to have from those minus 60 and move down the other two, and that's your answer.